Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel Colton of RNC. A while ago I had a request from a viewer to show you how to make this double diamond macrame headband. So that's what we'll be working on today. For today's project, you're going to need your string or your rope. I'm going to be using three millimeter single strand cotton string from Naroma Studio in the color Dusty Rose. You're going to need a sharp pair of scissors to cut your string. You'll need eight pieces that are about 14 inches or 36 centimeters in length. I'm going to be using painter's tape to secure my string to my flat surface while I'm making my knots. When we're finished the design, you're going to want a fine tooth comb to brush out the fringe. And you're going to need those scissors again to trim the fringe to your desired length. Once we're ready to assemble the headband, you're going to want a pair of pantyhose and either a rotary cutter or your scissors again. You're going to want a piece of felt in a color that's similar to your string and a hot glue gun. So let's get started. Once you have your eight strings cut out, you just want to line up the loose ends as close together as possible and then secure them to your surface. I usually leave about an inch at the top before putting on my painter's tape so that we'll have some fringe. To get started making the outer diamond, we need to find the one, two, three, fourth string from the right. This is going to be our filler string, which comes across at a diagonal, and the remaining four strings to the left will be making the double clove hitch knots. So you want to pick up the next string over toward the left. Right now it's under your filler string. So you're going to bring it over on top. Then you're going to take it around behind that filler string and then pull it through the loop and then pull down and tighten it up to meet your painter's tape or your clipboard. That's the first half. Our working strings now located over here to the right. So we want to again cross it over top the filler string, take it around behind, pull it through the loop, then tug down a little and tighten to meet the other half. Now we're going to repeat that knot with the next string over toward the left. Right now it's behind the filler string, so cross it over top, take it around behind, through the loop, pull down, and pull tight. Now repeat, cross in front, take it around behind and through, pull down, and pull tight. And now repeat that with the remaining two strings to the left. Now we're going to complete the right side of our outer diamond. And once again, you're going to pick up that fourth string over from the right. This will be our filler string coming across at a diagonal toward the right this time. And these remaining three strings will form our knots. So you're going to take the next string over to the right, which is situated under the filler string, cross it over top, take it around behind, through the loop, pull down and pull tight to match the other knots at the top. Now repeat, cross in front, around behind, through the loop, pull down, pull tight. Then pick up the next string toward the right, cross over in front, around, behind, and through, pull down and pull tight, and then repeat, and do the same thing with this final string. Once we have the top half of the outer diamond, we're going to form the top half of the inner diamond. So we are going to not be using these two strings on either end, so you can set those aside. And we're just gonna be working with the six strings in the center. To begin, what you wanna do is find the third string over from the right. This will be your filler string coming across at a diagonal. And these remaining three will make these same double clove hitch knots. So pick up the next string toward the left, 
which is behind your filler string. And again, cross in front, around behind, pull down and pull tight to the top. And then repeat, cross in front, around behind and through, and pull tight. And then repeat that same knot with these other two strings off to the left. Next, we're going to create the right side of the inner diamond. So once again, you wanna find that third string from the right. This will come across as your filler string. The remaining two strings will form your clove hitch knots. Cross over, around behind, pull down and tighten, and repeat. And then once again with that remaining string to the right. Now we have the top half of our outer and inner diamonds. What we're going to do now is make a square knot in the center. So we do not need the two strings on the outer left and the outer right. We just need these four center strings. To form a square knot, you wanna take your rightmost string. You're gonna cross that over on top of the other strings. Then you're gonna take your leftmost string and bring that over on top of the one you crossed. Then take it behind the center two strings and up through this loop you have over here on the right. Then you wanna take these two outer strings and pull those tight to the top to form the first half of your square knot. To form the other half of the square knot, we're gonna do the same thing, only the opposite side will be on top. So take this left string, cross it over the center two, right outer string comes on top of that one, then it goes behind the center two strings and up through the loop on the side. Now hold on to your middle strings while you pull your outer strings tight. And this gives us our square knot. Now what we need to do is we need to close the inner diamond first and then we will close the outer diamond. So to close up our inner diamond, we're gonna take this second string from the right that will come across toward the center as our filler string. Take the next string over to the left and you're going to form your double clove hitch knot coming around that center square knot. Then pick up the next string over toward the center and repeat. Now we're going to move over to the other side. So take the second string from the left this will come across towards center. Pick up the next string over to the right and make your double clove hitch knot coming around that square knot in the center. Then pick up the next string over and repeat. And then to close up this inner diamond, we're gonna make one more clove hitch knot using what was the filler string on the other side. Now that we've closed our inner diamond, we're going to do the same thing to close our outer diamond. So take that outermost right string, this will come across towards center, and these three strings will form the double clove hitch knots. Now we're going to move over to the other side. So take the leftmost outer string, this will come across towards center, and these four strings, including the filler string from the other side, will form the knots. And then finally, just to close up this outer diamond, you use that filler string from the other side to make one final set of knots. So our design is now complete. What you wanna do now is you wanna trim off your fringe. And I usually just cut these pieces to about an inch or so. So you can use something to measure these or you can just kind of eyeball it with a sharp pair of scissors and you just wanna cut them all to about the same length. 
following the diagonals of your design. Once you have the fringe cut to your desired length, you can take a fine tooth comb and just gently brush out these pieces to separate all the individual fibers of the string. And after you brush those out, you may find that you wanna just clean up your fringe a little bit to make it more even or straighten it out. You might get some stray pieces that look a little longer than the other ones. Once you're satisfied with your fringe, we're going to start assembling the headband. You can buy nylon headbands on Amazon and maybe even at craft stores, or you can just take a pair of pantyhose and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the legs off and then you're going to just cut about a three inch section. So if you have a rotary cutter, you can use that. Otherwise, just use scissors. And you wanna cut the leg off to separate it from the top. And then I usually do a three inch section. If you cut closer to the thigh, your headband will be larger. If you cut closer to the toe, it will be smaller. So once you cut it, just kind of tug on it to get it curled and looking nice. Now, I like to use hot glue to assemble these just because it's quick and easy. And I also like to use a little piece of felt just to make sure that this is soft against your baby or your child's head. So I have this purple that's pretty close. I'm just gonna cut a tiny rectangle, about half an inch by an inch. And we'll glue that over top the headband. So once your hot glue gun is warmed up, you just wanna flip this over to the back. And I'm just going to run a small line of hot glue here on the back. And then I take my nylon and just lay that into the glue. And give it a little press, just be careful because some of the hot glue can go through there and burn your fingers. And then you just wanna run another little bead of hot glue over the nylon. And then add your square or your rectangle, I'm sorry, of felt. And then if you've got some of this sticking out you want to give that a little trim just so you don't see it on the other side. And then your headband is complete. I hope that you enjoyed this project and that you will give it a try. Please leave any questions or comments below and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.